Hello learners, I am Siba. In this session, we will study modern modes of business. And we can study the facility of internet and its uses. Concept, benefit and limitation of e-commerce and e-business. We can also learn stages involved in trading process in online transactions. Earlier what we did for buying, we went to the market where the buyers and sellers will meet and we bought after verifying various products in the market. But modern trend, when you are using the internet or when you are using latest gadgets, what you will do? That is we are going to study in the modern modes of business. Earlier buyers went to the sellers and buyers will bargain for price. Buyers will check the quality of the product and what the sellers will do at that time? They will persuade the buyers to attract the product. They will say that there is discount and the product is of high quality. Like that so many techniques are adopted by the sellers and they will persuade the buyers. After that, if the buyer is interested, transaction will come to finalize. Sometimes buyers will make phone contact with the sellers and thereby transaction will be finalized. What is e-business? In such a business, buyers will sit at home and will contact the sellers over phone. That is without visiting the market, buyers are contacting sellers. As an advantage, you the buyers can have accessibility of the product round the clock. Round the clock availability is possible with the help of e-business. Virtual market has been made possible through introduction of information technology. The activities of production, selling, Banking, insurance, marketing, etc. are carried out at a faster speed through the use of computers and internet. When the activities of a business are carried on electronically, it is known as electronic business or e-business. The internet is a worldwide system of computer network through which the users at any computer can access the information from other computers. Internet provides information regarding history, business, politics, sports, science and technology and any other information that a person needs. That is the benefit of internet. Internet helps users to browse the information on any topic through the World Wide Web. Internet helps users to read news that is available from leading newspapers and leading television channels. Internet also helps in searching databases of government, individuals and private organizations. Internet helps to transfer files, pictures, animations, etc. Internet helps users to communicate with each other by chatting or talking to them personally when both of them are connected to the internet. How this came into existence, we should have awareness relating to that also. Internet was conceived by the Advanced Research Projects Agency of United States Government in 1969 as a military project and was known as ARPANET. 
it developed as an academic and research network. Later on, it was opened to use by members of the public and commercial use. In the year 1979, it was called Internet. It has now evolved into a global network. E-commerce or electronic commerce refers to the process of conducting business with the help of electronic devices and interconnected telecommunication network. Electronic commerce is also known as online trading, e-shopping, online shopping. E-commerce between companies are possible through B2B commerce, B2C commerce and through C2C, B2B that is business to business, interactions between business and another business unit, interaction between one business unit and another business unit. Here, it can be either between manufacturer and supplier of goods, manufacturer and wholesaler can also interact, these are also two business units. Wholesaler can contact the retailers, these are also two business units. Wholesaler is a business unit, retailer is another business unit. So, interaction between wholesalers and retailers, manufacturers and wholesalers, manufacturer and supplier of goods can be included under B2B transactions, business to business commerce. B2C, interaction between business and consumers. Any type of business unit, either it can be a manufacturer or retailer. So, interaction can be between manufacturer and consumer, retailer and consumer in the case of business to consumers commerce. C to C, here two parties are consumer and consumer, one consumer with another consumer. That is interaction between one consumer with another consumer, that is C to C. Consumers at both ends are dealing in goods for which there is no established market mechanism. One consumer want to sell his old cell phone. Then he will make that information or he will put that information in the internet. That information will be seen by some other consumer and he will request to buy for that. That is consumer is contacting another consumer that is C to C commerce. It is very popular in the case of used books, used household equipments etc. That is one consumer is contacting another consumer in the case of C to C. And there is no established market mechanism. Sometimes used books are being searched by one consumer. And they will exchange also used household equipments. In such way, there can be some arrangement also between them. E-commerce and e-business. E-business covers not only the interaction with the customers and suppliers, but also interactions and dealings among various departments and various persons within the firm. That is, e-commerce and all e-business functions can be included under electronic business. E-business is a wider term that includes both e-commerce and other electronically conducted business functions. All e-business functions like accounting, production, personnel, functions, administration functions, etc. are conducted with the help of e-commerce or e-business. Electronic business includes not only B2B, B2C and B2B, it also includes intra-B commerce. What is intra-B commerce? Interactions and dealings among various departments in the firm, that is intra-B commerce. It is a part of electronic commerce. What benefits e-business is giving to us? We should know that, no? Wider accessibility. 
with the help of well developed computerized network system the business units can operate at the national level as well as at the global level whole world is a market because of the e business facility for any business person so if you are making some product keep this in mind that you have a market that is seen that is accessible globally e commerce helps to improve customer service also e commerce enables a company to be open for business whenever a customer needs it and e commerce is convenient to the customer that is it is so easier to the customer with the help of e commerce and customers are getting up to date information relating any products in the world e commerce also shortens transaction time that is less transaction time is required with the help of e business transaction because the producers are able to cut short the distribution channels and establish direct contact with the customers manufacturer is directly linking with the customers or distributors are directly linking with the customers you can eliminate all types of middlemen in the case of e business one important benefit of e business cost can be saved listeners as well as buyers please listen this when cost is saved low price at low price customer can buy any product with the help of e business if you are going to a retail outlet and buying means you have to give more price when you are buying a product through e-commerce or internet you will, you can access that at a very low price you can get that product at a low price why because products should not be displayed in the showroom for that extra electricity charges extra sales persons charges rent of that room etc are to be maintained so no need to display the goods so that cost can be cut and no need to store large stock large stock if they are storing means the producers or retailers need more money for its storage so that itself will reduce the price of the product e business enlarges the business and increases the profit of the companies companies can approach variety of customers and capture new market and earn more profit with the help of e business facility e business is convenient to the customers why customers can access large number of suppliers and customers can see various types of product because you are searching a large number of suppliers who are supplying different variety of the same product so wide choice in the front of customers similarly customers can have accessibility for quality products and that too at competitive prices but still i am saying e business has certain limitations that is it lacks personal touch with customers it is not suitable for clothes jewelry etc because you want to touch that particular product and see whether the stuff is good whether the color is la- lasting or not like that you have certain taste towards certain types of clothes or jewelry etc so such type of personal touch you cannot have if you are going for e business usually e commerce or internet will provide detailed description of the product but customers cannot actually see that product or feel that product or try that product before they are buying that is the limitation of the e-commerce usually in the case of e-business transactions transactions are finalized very quickly in the case of e-business but physical delivery of goods often takes long time and sometimes it is inconvenient to the customers because of the delay in the delivery of the goods as a limitation of e business i would like to say this also that is sometimes 
faulty goods will reach the consumers which that is when you buy through online mechanism the goods that you have expected or ordered may not reach your home in such case you will return that product so that is also a limitation of e business and it is a time consuming exercise returning that product and then new product according to your taste will reach the home means it is a time consuming exercise internet shopping does not give shopping with experience with family you love to go shopping with your family members no i love that and if you love that definitely you will miss this experience if you are opting for e business and it e business is not suitable for routine buying you want bread butter milk uh, sugar etc for that okay today i want this today now itself that is within minutes i want you will go to a nearby retail show so in that case you can say this as a limitation of e business similarly e business also has financial risk as a seller you may not receive the money even after delivery of the product in certain cases if you are not moving through the proper mechanism similarly as a buyer you can have psychological losses like you have not received the product according to your taste okay you have ordered for a pink colored shoes but the color is not that you have thought in your mind so like that something will happen in the case of e business also so that can be a limitation of e business let us study the transaction process what is the process for conducting the e business first search that is for making a purchase the prospective customer that is a customer who has enough money in his hand has to find an appropriate vendor that is seller by using various websites customer will search various websites either directly or through a search engine next transaction process is order once the vendor has been found that is once the seller has been found and goods are identified the customer makes contact with the particular seller and negotiate the terms and conditions if the customer is satisfied he will fill registration form to have an account with a password customer enters credit card numbers expiry date billing address on the order form and vendor can verify these details before delivering the goods in certain cases debit cards can also be used for the purpose of payment payments can be made by checks also sent by post as a next process in the transaction we can say delivery payment is assured by the seller okay or payment is made by the buyer and payment is assured then vendor arranges for delivery of the goods as per the instructions of the buyer seller will deliver the goods fifth transaction process relating to e business is after sale service in any transaction there can be a problem like damage goods faulty goods etc for items such as machinery consumer durables there can be a provision of warranty or maintenance what precautions are necessary for securing the e business transactions first is the password in online shopping one has to register with the online vendor to have an account with him and this provides a password for what to avoid login by an unauthorized person another precaution for security is authentication senders of the message must be identified precisely using the offline validation if necessary and this avoids any possibility of fraud or misuse of the password another precaution is encryption that is conversion of data into a code 
so that it cannot be read by other users. Data is converted into code by the sender and then decoded by the receiver. Digital signatures as a precaution for security. That is, digital signature may be used to authenticate the sender of the message and check the integrity of the message so that no alteration takes place in transit. In terms of transmission, authentication and integrity, the digital signature is considered very secure provided it is created in the manner under the exclusive control of the person using it. Trusted third parties as a precaution for security. Another way to ensure security is to transmit a copy of the transaction to a third party trusted by both sides and where the record of the transaction could be used to settle any disputes. So, dear learners, in this session, we have learned various modes of business, facilities of internet and its uses, concept, benefit and limitations of e-commerce and e-business. We have also studied stages involved in the trading process in online transactions. Dear learners, hope you understood this very well and thank you.